Hello, I'm Dr. Tim Sandal, and this video is about the microorganisms that we find in our hands, both from a contamination control perspective and also from a dermatological and hand hygiene perspective. Okay, so we'll begin with the importance of hand disinfection and then we'll move on to hand hygiene topics. So in this video we're going to look at hand disinfection and the microbiome of the hands. And in recent years we have a greater understanding through high throughput culture independent methods including 16S rRNA gene sequencing and advanced bioinformatics that's revealed more information about the bacterial community. Whereas for fungi, the internal transcribed space of region 1, or ITS1, um, has also given a rich array of information based on ribosomal gene analysis. So practicing hand hygiene is something of fundamental importance and it's the most simple yet effective way to prevent infections. Cleaning our hands can prevent the spread of germs, including those that are resistant to antibiotics, and that includes many which are becoming difficult, if not impossible, to treat. And on average, whether we're healthcare workers, we're working in clean rooms, or simply at home, we clean our hands less than half the times we should, as evidenced by different studies. And learning about the skin microbiome clarifies that understanding and also helps us with the treatment of different diseases. Now the microbiome of the hands is in constant flux as hands are a critical vector for transmitting microorganisms between people and inanimate objects, people to people and other objects from our environments. And the hand microbiome is a product of both temporal and biogeographical dynamics. There's also variations that are intrinsic relating to age and gender, and also extrinsic relating to the products we use and the kind of environment we live in and the various surfaces that we might touch. Now our hands contain on average around 3,200 different microorganisms across around 150 species. And some of these can be harmful and cause infection and improved hand washing and hand sanitization can reduce the transmission. Now these organisms tend to be grouped into four phyla, the actinobacteria, the firmicytes, the protobacteria and bacteroidites. And they also include predominantly Micrococcus epidermidis as the dominant species. And other resident bacteria include Staphylococcus hominis, other coagulase negative Staphylococci, and crinoform bacteria from Propionibacteria, Crinibacteria, and the Micrococci. In terms of fungi, then the fungi belonging to the species group Mausesia tend to dominate. Now the organisms that we find in our hands are both residential and transient and generally the transient organisms are going to be the pathogens and these are the things that we unwittingly pick up such as Staphylococcus aureus, gram-negative organisms and yeast. And these tend to be found on the outer layers of the epidermidis, whereas the typical resident flora are found within the deeper layers of the skin. And in terms of the typical bacterial counts on the hands, this will range from around 400,000 to 5 million organisms per square centimetre. Now, with hand sanitization, this helps to remove the transient organisms. It will also remove some of the, or a large number of the beneficial residents, but these beneficial organisms tend to repopulate relatively quickly. 
Now, the transient organisms um, are those that colonise the superficial layers of the skin, and these are more amenable to be removed through good hand hygiene practices. And the transmissibility of these organisms, if we don't practice good hand hygiene, depends upon the species present, the number of microorganisms on the surface, and also the level of skin moisture. So that's the importance of hand hygiene and hand disinfection. But studying the skin microbiome, the, the, the microbiota we find on the skin, is of great importance for understanding health and disease. So the beneficial organisms on the skin help to protect us from invading pathogens. And many of our commensal bacteria have a direct antimicrobial capacity and they provide factors that mount a protective immune response in the skin. So in some senses they function as guardians of our host defence. But where the beneficial bacteria go into imbalance, something called dysbiosis, this can lead to skin inflammation and disease. And tipping the balance in the wrong direction can lead to psoriasis and atopic dermatitis as the two most common skin diseases. Now the commensal microbiota found naturally on the skin also help with the resolution of disease flares. Now given that many mainstay long established treatments come with adverse effects and they can also have connections with the development of antimicrobial resistance then developing biotherapy that involves adding back onto our skin a high abundance of beneficial organisms can help to revolutionize the way that skin diseases are treated. Um, so there's a whole new avenue open up in terms of microbiome directed therapeutics. So it stands that an increased understanding of the skin microbiome and of what we find on hands specifically is going to open up the door for product development for disease prevention and treatment as well as helping to clarify the importance of hand hygiene in the clinical or clean room or home setting. So this video was designed to introduce the subject to give a taster of the importance of understanding the skin microbiome and focusing on hands specifically. So thank you very much for watching. I'm Dr. Tim Sandal and until next time, stay safe.